Hello, this is Matt from remove-malware.com. Um, a lot of people have asked me to make a uh, video review of Avast 4.8. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This review will be broken up into a few parts because of uh, YouTube's uh, time requirement. So, um, Anyway, I've got a really infected PC here. Um, as you can see down here, I have... Uh, uh, just fake uh, fake alerts down here, fake system alerts um, down in my tray. Uh, I've got some porn that's loading, hornymatches.com. Um, if I tried to open up a website, I'll most likely get a few pop-ups. If I try to go to a website, Here's my pop-ups. Cyber Defender. Uh, all kinds of, you know, if I do a search for antivirus, we come up with malvertised products. So if I go to, um, like, Symantec, I get uh, Advanced XP Fixer. Um, that's another one I've been seeing a lot this week. A lot of my clients have this uh, fake uh, fixing utility. So let's go ahead and uh, put some of this stuff down and I'll go ahead and get uh, the Avast install going. I started using Avast when I started um, working on people's computers a couple years ago. Um, I started started using it uh, and it was okay in the beginning and um, it took a while to actually update it. So I'm hoping 4.8 um, does a good job, a better job. It is free. It has antivirus and as you can see, here's all my pop-ups. Antivirus and anti-spyware, anti-rootkit. For a free product, that's pretty good. So, it's, almost, it's almost hard to install things on this uh, PC. It's so infected. Okay, the install looks like it's going pretty quick. It looks like a low impact uh, antivirus, kind of a small, you know, not a big memory hog as, as far as I know. It never used to be. Um, now this this it's asking me a really, a really neat question actually. It's asking me if I want to perform a boot time antivirus scan of my local hard drives, and no other antivirus that I work with ever does this. And I think it's really really neat for a free product that will. Go ahead and scan your entire computer before you actually boot up. Um, sort of takes the place of a bootable CD, a bootable antivirus CD. So that's just a really nice feature, and I really, I really like that they kept that in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes to that. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and restart later. I want to, um, whoops, I want to download the latest updates. So I'm going to go ahead and open a vast. I'm just going to choose a demo for now. I'm not going to test the memory because I already know there's a ton of stuff in here. And once a vast opens, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick update and then reboot. Pop ups galore. So it's still not loading here. Let me try to open it again. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and do an update. That's my little update button right there. going to download these uh, these update files. They're .vpus. Uh, I guess that's it's a little update extension. The updates go pretty fast. I just have a 3 meg uh, connection here at my house. Nothing crazy. So pretty fast. And it's going to go ahead and install these updates now.
So after these updates are installed, which they are now, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, break this video up a little bit, and we're going to reboot here, and I'll come back when we're doing our boot time scan.